So wonderful. So class number five, this class will be a combination of all that's come before. We're going to do the front splits, the Cossack squat, the zigzag pigeons, and a little bit of pistol squat. And it is only 20 minutes, but we'll get to the, all of them. So great, come, come rest into your child's pose. All the way down, arms are long, head is dropping down. And just have a sense of the length of your spine and the weight of your buttocks. Maybe walk your fingers a little bit further forward, a sense of length into your shoulders. Maybe push your toes a little bit down into the floor. Nice. Coming all the way forward into your cat pose, arching your back, rounding your back, arching your back, rounding your back. Nice. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Round your back and arch your back. Round your back and arch. Nice. Lift your back knee, stretch your back leg long. And then drop your knee down, let it touch. Stretch your back leg long. And drop your back knee, let it touch. One more time. Stretch your back leg long. And really feel the sense of weight into the pelvis as you round and really connect your spine. Nice. Drop the left knee to the floor. Bring your left elbow down to the floor. Reach the right hand forward. Just have a sense of gliding out through the shoulder blade on the right to reach into your fingertips. Keep your back knee where it is or stretch the left leg long. Breathing down into your belly. Nice. Glide your right hand back and bring your left hand to the floor. Stretch out through the front leg. Bend your knee. Lean into your hips. Stretch out through your front leg. Bend your knee. Lean into your hips. One more time, stretch out through your front leg, pausing there. Give a sense of pointedness into your sit bones by almost the feeling of drag your heel back towards you a little bit. So there's a little bit more weight into the back of your thigh, into the back of your bum. Nice, rock forward, step back into your downward dog. Find the length of you, the stretch of you. Pull your heels back. Come up onto your toes, drop down onto your heels. Come up onto your toes, drop back onto your heels. Nice, drop your knees to the floor. Bring the left foot to the outside of your left hand. Nice. From here, round your back, arch your back, round your back, arch your back. One more time. Round your back, stretch the back leg, have a sense of length so that you're drawing the left knee forward and the right heel back. Drop your knee to the floor, let it touch, stretch your back leg. Knee drops down, let it touch. Stretch your back leg. One more time. Knee drops down, let it touch. Stretch your back leg. Nice. Drop your knee down, let it land. Bring your right elbow down, let it land. Reach your left hand forward in front of you. Shoulder is long and stretching out towards your fingertips. Stay here or lift your right knee off the floor and breathe down into your belly. Slide your left hand back, bring your right hand to the floor, drop your right knee, stretch out through your front leg, bend your knee, stretch out through your front leg, bend your knee. Next time you travel back, stay there. So you're stretching out through the left leg, your heel is on the floor, your 
really getting pointy into your sit bone as you glide the weight back towards the, the floor behind you. Nice. Rock forward. Step back into your downward dog. All the way back. Stretching back into your heels. Nice. From here, step the left foot forward between your two hands and then turn your toes so they're pointing towards the right side of your mat. Nice. Bend your right knee. Bring your hands over towards the right foot, but they're not straight in front of the right foot. They're slightly to the left of your right foot. Come up onto your right toes. Sit your bum down and just have that sense of sitting your bum down and then straighten into the right leg. Sit your bum down. Coming up onto the toes, straighten into your leg. Sit your bum down, straighten into your leg. Other side, left side. Sit your bum down, straighten your left leg. Sit your bum down, straighten into the left leg. One more time. Sit your bum down, straighten. Nice. From here, glide over towards the right. And this time, have your hands floating, perhaps, as you sit your bum down and then straighten your leg. Or you can have your hands lightly on the floor. Just see. Sit your bum down, straighten your leg. You're standing all the way up as you do this. And sit your bum down, straighten. <laughs> One more time. Sit your bum down, straighten. Hmm, great. Try the other side. Both hands down towards the left or floating. Sit your bum down. Straighten. Sit your bum down. Straighten. Sit your bum down. Straighten. One more time. Sit your bum down. Straighten. How super cool. Bring your hands all the way down between your feet so they're landing on the floor underneath your shoulders and then just drop your head down and just create length into the sit bones length into the back of your thighs nice straighten through your arms heel toe your feet towards each other and then drop your knees to the floor swing your feet over towards the right and come all the way to sit on the floor with your feet Mm, mat distance apart or a foot and a half apart. Drop both knees down towards the left and just sit up really tall there. So there's space for both of your thighs. I'm not, my left thigh is not rest, my right thigh is not resting on my left foot. Come back to center. Both knees down towards the right, sitting up tall. And just travel from side to side, zigzag towards the left. And then zigzag towards the right. One more time. Zigzag to the left. Zigzag to the right. Staying with your zigzag to the right. And now you're going to swing your left foot so that it's pointing towards the right, just in front of your right knee. And then swing your left leg back, motorbike. So your left leg is traveling back and your right shoulder is traveling down. And then swing your left foot forward. And then motorbike. Left foot forward. And then all the way back. One more time. Left foot forward. And all the way back. Nice. Bend your knee into zigzag. Both feet to the floor. Both knees down towards the left. From here, sweep the right foot forward, let it land, and then sweep the right leg back into motorbike. Right foot forward, land, and then right foot back, motorbike. So your shoulders almost coming to the floor, almost coming to your knee, but you're really trying not to use your arm. You're trying to use your torso as a whole functioning movement to create this oscillation, this pendulation through the body. One more time. 
How super cool. Come into zigzag on the left. Bring both hands to the floor. Push back into your downward dog. And just create a length through your body. Stretching back, pulling back. So walk your hands a little bit wider so that they're as wide as your mat. Draw the right knee forward to your right hand. Tuck your back toe under and lean deeply down into your hips. Come up onto your fingertips and rise. Maybe if you want, you can lift the back knee off the floor and drop it down. Let your bum land a little bit more. Lift the back knee off the floor, rising tall. Everything's trying to lift away from the floor and then settle, bum lands. And again, rising, lift, and then lands. Bring your left elbow down, bring your right elbow down, settling in. And you can, if you want, lift your back knee off the floor. And you're imagining that the left hip is traveling down towards the right foot. Nice. Drop your back knee. Bring both hands to the floor. Step back into your downward dog and just feel that right leg. Bend it a bit. Tap the floor. Stretch through your legs, bend your knees down, tap the floor, stretch through your legs. Nice, left, mm, both hands are as wide as your mat, draw the left knee forward to your left hand, tuck your back toe under, walk your back leg away. Walk your hands a little bit closer towards your hips, lift the back knee, rise, let everything lift. Pushing the left foot into the floor, left knee into the floor, and then settle. I really feel the settling. And then rise, pushing everything into the floor. And settling. Nice, one more time. Rise, lifting. And settling. Bring your right elbow down. Bring your left elbow down and can if you want lift your back knee off the floor if you wish. Main thing is that your right hip is dropping deeper and deeper towards the left heel. Super. Both hands to the floor, push back, downward dog. Create the length of you, the strength of you, the stretch of you. Drop your knees down, let them tap. Stretch back. And drop your knees down, let them tap. Stretch back. Nice. Come into crouching, so your bum travels back towards your heels. Knees travel down in the direction of the floor. Stretch through your legs. And one more time. Down and stretch. Nice. Walk your feet forward. Walk your hands back. So your hands are near your feet and then lift the right foot up and bring it back behind you. And then come onto the left heel, stretching the left leg long. And then lift your right foot up towards the ceiling. Right foot to the floor, left leg long. And just to, uh, rest here and imagine that you can lift your left foot off the floor. How would you lift your left foot off the floor? Just feel how you engage. Feel the deep belly efforting, endeavoring to lift off the floor with your left leg. Nice. Rock forward. Both feet together. Step the left foot back. Stretch out into the right leg. Heel is on the floor. Rock forward. Stretch the left foot up towards the ceiling. Foot to the floor. Lengthen out into that right leg again and then try and lift your heel off the floor. And again. Notice what you need to engage. It's your leg, it's your belly, it's your thigh, your spine, your arms. Nice. Both feet together. 
Turn your toes wide, come sit down into a squat. And just settle there. Elbows are wide, pushing into your knees perhaps, or resting on your knees, or resting forward. And just let your breath be deep into your belly. Nice, come up onto your toes. Drop down onto your heels. Come up onto your toes. Drop down onto your heels. Nice, bring both hands forward, stretch back into your downward dog. Last movement of these series. So step your right foot forward between your hands and drop your left knee to the floor. Walk your right foot forward to the distance that you know you feel comfortable with and that there's a certain working edge for you. And then lean deeply into their hips and give it weight. And then stretch out through your front leg. Lean your head down. Nice. Lean into your hips, bringing weight. Stretch out through your front leg. And draw your head down. One more time. Lean into your hips. Lift your back knee off the floor. Have a sense of your belly and your thigh is really pushing deeply together. Drop your back knee down on the floor and slowly begin to walk forward. So find where you stop. Keep walking forward or sliding forward and just find your distance. Maybe lift your hips a little bit, drop them down. You know, find that sense of how do you meet and move into your hips as you're here. If you rock a little bit from one thigh to the other thigh a little bit. Listening, deepening. Maybe push your fingertips down, rise. Maybe drop your head down towards your front leg. Nice to come out, bend your back knee and glide it really slowly forward. And just pause there for a moment. Nice, other side. Step back into your downward dog. All the way back, gliding back through your hips, stretching through your legs. And then bring the left foot forward between your two hands. Drop your right knee to the floor and begin to walk your foot forward to your working edge. Lean deeply into your hips. Stretch out through your front leg, drop your head down. Lean deeply into your hips. And stretch out and forehead comes down. Nice, lean into your hips and push your thigh and your belly together really strongly. Have that sense of connection. Nice, and then lift your back knee, keep that connection deeply on so your thigh and your belly are pushing more and more together. Nice, drop your back knee to the floor. Maybe you walk your leg out a little bit more, maybe all the way out, see what's right for you. And just settle in, move a bit. listening be mobile be easy in the deep of it maybe leaning back maybe leaning forward nice and then slowly bring your leg all the way forward and just come into a forward bend so just rounding forward bring your arms forward drop your down Again, let your, let your bum rock from side to side a little bit or wiggle into the spine or grab the sticky mat and pull your chest a little bit forward towards your thighs and then drop your head down. Nice, come rest on your back. 
So come all the way down. Knees are bent. Feet are flat on the floor. Hands are resting on your belly. Allow all of that to settle. Breath. Spine, hips, legs, knees, feet. You're just feeling the, the deep sense of weight into your lower back. That contact between your mid back and the floor, your shoulders and the floor. And the elbows in the floor, the weight of your hands on your belly. Oh, wonderful. So slowly, slowly, just taking a deep breath, reach your arms overhead, lengthen into your body, whatever way you do. Mm, reaching, lengthening, moving, maybe rocking your knees from side to side, maybe just rolling all the way up to come up into a seated position. How wonderful. Great, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, perhaps you've done all five in a row. Maybe you've done little bits and pieces. Maybe you're using this as a progressive practice. Um, so great. Thanks so much for joining me and see you again soon.